back live. As the crow, and as you can see, we are blocking the train. <laughs> we got here just a good time. Video. I don't talk in the man. That's all right. I hope you can share that and download that quickly. I'll, 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 be, I'll be sharing that like at the same time. One take. My name is Richard Hawk. I'm the Director of the Public Safety Services. I'm here to 
I'm from the Terra Clan, and I come from Mother Earth. The only thing that I would like to say is that as people of the Earth, it doesn't matter what direction you come from, global nuclear shutdown to be at the top of our list. We are killing Mother Earth. We are killing our children. We are killing our future. If this doesn't get shut down now, then we will end all life. That's what this is all about. It's about the now. And we have to take the future in our hands. This is what it's all about. It's not about who is right and who is wrong. It's about sustaining our life. It's about sustaining our ecology. It's about sustaining our ecology, our mother earth, and that's where we come from. And that's all I would like to say. So we have to take this back. We have to move. We have to mobilize. We have to shut down global energy worldwide. Thank you. Be great. Uh, we got our local warrior over here, an urban warrior. Not afraid to show it. <laughs> this, is, this is a good friend. And everyone here. Right on. What? Right on. You know, when Zach brought up the issue about the Jihu Hitachi, uh, <coughs> my wife and I were very, very busy at the time out in Six Nations. And uh, we couldn't make the community meetings, but it was good to see that the community was indeed uh, shocked to find out about the, the Hitachi uranium. And it's time to see that there's not a lot of more community support out here. But we have to show them that we as indigenous people who are defenders of Mother Earth, that uh, if we don't take a stand, who will? We are hoping that the community, in the, in the end, We'll take some sort of initiation between GE and Hitachi. The corporations are under the impression that they don't have to leave. Um, GE's statement said that it would cost them, I believe, seven billion dollars to move the uranium plant from where its current location. Uh, we're, of course, you know we're about a kilometer down the road from it. Um, but still, the fact of it is, is that for 50 years it's been uh, processing this. Uranium. Uh, before it was doing it by rail, and now it does it by uh, by by uh, by truck. The fact of it is, is that if we don't take care of the communities in the name of Mother Earth, there's not going to be much of a community left to de to defend. Look at what's happening with the development here in Toronto. Our waters are polluted. They say that there's nothing happening here at this plant. If that's true, why are they dumping their powder? on our water systems. That is crap. We have to drink the same water. This is not just an indigenous issue. It's not just affecting us as a First Nations people. It's affecting this community of many cultures. We have Tibetan people in this neighborhood. We have Portuguese people in this neighborhood. We have Italians in this neighborhood. We have black people. We have white people. I'm probably speckled with a few niche. But the fact of it is, is that it's just not a First Nations issue anymore. This is a humanitarian issue. The community here needs to take action. And the only way that they're going to do it is if we stand beside them and show them that we're not accepting uranium coming through our territories. It's, it's got to shut down right now. It's got to shut, shut down, down right now. Right now. So we've heard from the workers, actually. This is something that we haven't actually made public yet, but we've heard... Uh, we've heard rumors that GE has told its workers to plan to relocate to Peterborough within three years. I started fighting GE in Peterborough because they wanted to do low-enriched uranium in the downtown next to an elementary school. But you know what? They're not going to move it to Peterborough because we're not going to let them. That's uh, Curve Lake territory, and those are kids right across the street from there. So when we say shut down, we don't mean relocation to Peterborough in three years. We mean shut it down, anti-nuclear chain reaction. We're going to come after Chemical and Port Hope where they're pluming into Lake Ontario, and we got to shut it down, not relocate. General Electric has got to stop this right now, and if the community's against it, what's the threshold to stop this? We're going to be blocking these trains more and more and more until we get that shut down because we know we are in the right. Kidney problems, kidney disease. Guess why you might 
have that. If you've been living here for any length of time, one of the symptoms of uranium poisoning is your kidney failure. And kidney failure can lead to your death. This is who your neighbor is. GE Hitachi is not a good neighbor. They've been here for 50 years producing uranium fuel for the nuclear industry. And one, and 100 years making transformers, leaving their PCB toxic wasteland for you to live in. This is a crime. Both their industries that they are doing here are crimes against you, you and humanity. They're against the lakes, the water, the land. They say that they've relocated or, or what's the word, re remediated the land? Ha! Don't count on it. If you're living in those new lofts over there, I wouldn't. Kidney failure is what you will get. That's one of the first symptoms. There's also all the other cancers in your body. So if you have, if you find that there are issues with your health, GE Hitachi should be tracking that health, but they are not. Yep. Okay, this is also creating high-level nuclear waste. We can have whole new subways with the amount of stuff that they're wanting to dig here. But, um, you know, I mean, they are legally allowed to put 9,000 kilograms of uranium into our sewers every year. Shame! Shame! Shame. It has to stop. It's a crime. How many? How much? They are legally allowed 9,000 kilograms into the sewers per year. They'll say, oh, we only do a fraction of that, but they won't back up their, their data with any of their actual data. They won't show us how they measure, and they won't actually tell us who their third parties are that measure, because apparently they don't have permission from the third parties to tell us who is verifying independently their emissions. And it's not the Canadian Nuclear Stupidity Commission, because they are a rubber-stamping kangaroo court filled with nuclear mains who are addicted to this idea of elegant nuclear power. But really, it's not elegant at all, because the first candy reactor was a bomb factory, and that's why candy reactors have 1.2 grams of plutonium, 1.2 grams of plutonium per kilogram of spent fuel waste. So every kilogram of pellets that come out of here are going to be high-level spent fuel waste, and there's going to be, out of these pellets here, 1.2 grams of plutonium. And if you just put that in a centrifuge, you can separate that, and that is the weapons of the bomb. So, uh, you know, George W. Bush went looking for weapons of mass destruction in Iraq and spent billions of dollars trying to find it and came up with nothing, but, oh, look at what we found here. It's G.E. Itachi's uranium secret in Toronto's West End. Okay, so our action today is endorsed by the Committee for Future Generations, which is a committee of uh, Cree, Dene, Métis, and settler people who are united against the nuclear fuel chain. It has poisoned their waters, their rivers, their animals, their fish. They're told to eat around the tumors. Radiation and uranium myelin tailings are radioactive for 4.5 billion years. We can't even think of that in seven generations. So the Committee for Future Generations has called for the global nuclear shutdown, as has the Mohawk Traditional Council and Donna Wallaby. Do you want to talk and, and say something? No, no. Okay. And um, they just turned it off so people don't know that there's hot spots and there's radiation in the air coming from Fukushima. So we got to shut this down because if you look at the plumes, please visit GE Itachi at Lansdowne and DuPont at night. They put plumes up into the air of uranium emissions. They will only emit to a certain amount of uranium emissions. We want their data. We want their data and we want to know who their independent third party verifying are because GE has said that they're independent third parties. They don't have permission to release the information or even 
who their independent third parties are that uh, monitor and analyze their data. So this is the fox guarding the hen house if you want to believe GE about its uranium mission. But it's been there for decades, hasn't it? Yeah, and their legal limit is 9,000 kilograms a year down the sewer. So it's been there for decades, but that's no reason to keep it there. I mean, and, and it will be radioactive. That site will be radioactive, contaminated for 4.5 billion years. So the sooner we stop it right now, the better. This is nuclear. You've got to find out about it. You've got billions of dollars devoted to the suppression of information on nuclear. Censoring Fukushima, censoring the risks of tinkering. Fitzpatrick is a Fukushima nuclear reactor on the south shore of uh, Lake Ontario. And in November, it had a fire an unexplained fire in a Fukushima design general electric reactor. Yes, GE Itachi is a manufacturer of Fukushima. There's 23 twin reactors in the United States of the same design, and one had a fire on the south shore of Lake Ontario in November. We are hugely at risk from the nuclear fuel chain, and it's got to stop. This is the global nuclear fuel cycle, and this is a grassroots movement right here shutting it down. Thank you. Why today? Why not? Because, because this should have never been taken from the ground. The Dene elders had stories that this is the black rock of death and that it was never supposed to be taken up. It causes radiation leakage all along the field cycle through their Rex land. And look at what the Nuclear Waste Management Organization is trying to do right now. It's trying to pick off the babies and economically extort them to take high-level nuclear waste, but that threatens all of our futures. High-level nuclear waste hitting our waters or a meltdown on our Great Lakes from some of our reactors game over. If you actually wonder what's going on in Fukushima right now, people are being poisoned. So how far are you going to take this today? It's got to shut down. It's got to shut down. Maybe we might go over to the plant and show people how it's pluming uranium emissions into the atmosphere. It's got to shut down. Like The questions are like, you know, why, why not? It's about time. You know, like, just use your minds on nuclear. There's physics, the discipline of physics will be so pro-nuclear. But these pro-nuclear people, the only reason that this is working in this community here and we're actually building a decent opposition is this community is not economically reliant on the nuclear industry, but they have everywhere else paid off. Just take a trip to Port Hope on the lake, on, on the shore of Lake Ontario. It's pluming mm -hmm. liquid effluent and radioactivity and the federal government is uh, giving SNC Lavinlam $1.28 billion to dig up everyone's yards because it's all radioactive, but denying that there's going to be a health concern because it's going to be airborne radio radiation particulates. Okay, well, and, and GE says, oh, it's just practically zero public health impact, but um, but uh, practically zero health impact, but we know that the solution to pollution by dilution is fallacious when it comes to radiation because we all know that all you need is one particle of uranium into your lungs. Jamie. History, my friends. History. Well, we'll see if it's history. Uh, hopefully, you know. And you know what the weird part of it is? They said we could never do a rail blockade in Toronto. That's what I heard. And here we, we are. Just, we are. We, we, we we're just, doing it now. Just like, yeah. I was watching and I couldn't that's believe like, it. So I got to get down there. Man. That's like, wow. That's like Amazing. being totally brainwashed, eh? You can never yeah. do what they tell and you, you right? know what the weird part of it is? Is that even the train driver is fucking supporting us because he knows. He could have fucking done anything and he fucking honk his horn in solidarity, man. He didn't know that. He can get fired for that. You know? For agreeing. Can't agree with the enemy. Oh, we did, we did, when we were doing the photos. Yeah. He honked the horn, that's the horn. One black, one black east. One black east. Yeah. 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 We made it, we made it, Judy. We did, I knew we would. <laughs> Judy met me at the coffee shop. Where are they? Yeah. I ran into, yeah, I ran into. <laughs> well, we took a detour because the cops were... Uh, 
blockading everywhere since four this morning. They got word. When we, when we, we came up, yeah, it. when we came up, they were they were going this way. When we took lands down in Dupont, they're all thinking, okay, well they're going left, so we went right, and they're like, but but the the, the stations out, we're like, we know where we're going. It's not the plan. <laughs> Somebody must First rail blockade in Toronto that anybody can ever remember. And we're blocking the CP track, not the CP. Let him do the talking now. All the other rail blockades so far in Canada have been on CN. Um, hey, we should this get a, is CP. We should get a, all nations. Like, you know, on. This one. Yeah. Hey, let's get. Can we. Okay. Can we get. 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 Oh, yeah. Picture time. Oh. Hey, this is my friend from the coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we made it. Was we free, made bro. it. Oh, wow. It's a good, it's a good thing about I having this app. Yeah. On the phone. I was talking to him on the phone. He's like, oh, I know where it is already. I'm not the only one. Well, a few other people, I directed them this way. It was pretty good, though. Uh, Excellent. What do they got? Munchies here? Yeah, I heard Zach was pretty brave. Stopping the train. Let me stood out here by himself. And yeah, it was, was only like two meters. I was watching. First, the, 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 cop, the cop put his bike there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Moved it out, yeah. Well, um, no, no. Cookies. Yeah. Better get some cookies while they're still here. Here. Uh, can I leave this flag or something? Uh, not me, but, uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. We're grabbing some cookies. It's going to be a long night. Anybody want to hold up the uranium bottom? Hey, uh, hang on, hang on. Mike, Mike. Cheese. Cheese. Oh, cheese, please wait. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Don't move. No. Hold on, don't move! <laughs> oh, putting the camera up in the air. Sorry, I'm taking pictures here. I thought it was Yeah, I'm okay. Get your man too. And up here at the front. Taking pictures, hopefully my pictures come out. I'm only using one hand here. Excuse them all. Got it. Hey, you're tired, are you tired? Long day, long day. That was amazing. I was watching at the donut shop and I yeah. see you guys blocking. I said, I'm heading over. <laughs> it's out on live stream. Live. Oh yeah, yeah. I was charging up, eh? Yeah. Say something. Say something. Yeah, I don't want to speak. It's on my head. Just hear support. They told us it couldn't be done. And look what we're doing. We are doing it. They told us you can never block a train in Toronto. Well, look at here. Look at there. I see a train blocked in Toronto. Don't tell someone that they can't do it because they will overcome it and they will fight it and they will win. They will do it. They will break the barriers. Yeah. Sir, can I just get that? That's not the lady. Yeah. That's the lady. Respect the lady. He's an old friend. That's not the lady. Film the. Train, train. You do a train song. Train keeps it rolling. Oh no, it ain't rolling nowhere, no. Donut shop, I think.
our point to say that we're not safe, uh, we're not happy with the uranium plant here in the territory, and uh, we're going to try and do what we can to get more community support to come out and if we don't get involved. You know, that's really what we're here for, man. We're here to stop the attached to the Probably until about 6, 6 p.m. and then uh, we're uh, probably going to go home and uh, hopefully by making a stand uh, that more and more of the community will be able to come out. I think I might have, but if I didn't, it's E-A-D-Y-N. Occupy, how many people you got on? Oh, I got two. two. Yeah. It's better quality on that. Yeah. Okay, but it gets documented and then people watch yeah, it later. Exactly. Great, you gotta read it. Committee for future generations. Taking a lot of pictures here. There we go. There we go. Nice. Thank you, Dirk. <laughs> Short people got no reason to. I got just thanking Daryl there for holding the center of the picture up. <laughs> Good, okay. Rest your back there, man. Thank you. They said it couldn't be done. And we're doing it. On to nine, take First row blockade in Toronto. Is it the first? In Toronto, right? That I, I never heard of one ever. It might be the first, but you know it won't be the last. As long as we're here defending our territories and our, 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 our birthright. Our mothers and our women and our slave girls are here. And these are warriors that come out thick and thin, strong or cold, warm or cold. We are here to fight. More cops than we do have demonstrators, protesters. And you can see that part. Excuse me. Okay. See if we can't do this. I'm gonna try video record. In Toronto, first rail blockade. This is never idle. Idle no more. This is against GE's uranium plant. We've ended up here blocking the train. As you can see, big e -ball.
like I said, man. It's kind of sad to see that there's not a lot of community support, but I think that when they read about this on the news or they read about it in the paper tomorrow, that they're going to come to the understanding that it's time for us to take a stand and that they should know that we as indigenous people are watching what the non-native people are doing and we're watching how they're how this uranium is going through their territory. I lost one last time we were together. And we want them to take from their Like your tension your home? No. Your feet. Never played on the tracks, you rock kids. We used to play on these all the time. Yeah, me too. And I used to walk the tracks all the time up north. Yep. Find pennies or just throw whatever. rocks at the train. Oh ha ha ha. Not me. I just walked them on the train tracks. Just stop there. Okay. Go bang that one end over there. They come on, they come on. Oh, yeah, totally. Well, especially when they're passing them so many times, right? They come up. So I'd say we've been here at maybe half an hour. They've been here at least, yeah. I started watching at 3 o'clock. More than one train, whoa. I'm looking back there, eh? Is that all one train? It must be, yeah. But now we're disrupting the line down. So there's probably a few more trains getting disrupted. now maybe not hold on maybe not we are blocking the tracks at this around Dufferin and DuPont Toronto. Managed to stop the train. We've been here about an hour. Bike check! Bike check! Bike check! Bike check! We want everyone in front of the train. We're going to talk about what we're going to do next. We want everyone in front of the train so we can talk about what we're going to do next. Drop jump though.
I think that when we do set to move, we should take a walk to the plant. So for now, uh, we should hang out with our friend the tank engine over here. Is there anyone who wants to propose something else or do uh, we disagree? I think we should stay here now. I think we should stay right here. Hold our ground. Hold our ground, but stay warm. You know. You know that they're going to try and pressurize the drill bus. They know that the minute that they say, we got business to can do it, they want us to be separate. They want us to move down to that plant. But I say we stay right here and we exert our sovereignty. We show the people in the community that we're not fooling around, that we're truly standing in solidarity about this uranium. I don't have to move. I'm not moving anywhere. I'm going to go home tonight. We're all I'm going home tonight with my wife and I'm going home tonight with my son. I'm not exerting my sovereignty for a bunch of yellow jackets. This is our territory. We have right to stand here and do what we're doing. We're forcing the community to make a decision. And we're not just talking for this community. We're talking for the whole city. I'm not moving. I'll move when the time is right. When, 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 this, when, when we decide that we were going to go home. I don't have any reason to march around the city anymore. I got what I wanted. And I got a whole bunch of people standing in solidarity. And look at this. Woo! We have a train. We have a train that we are blocking. And we're not moving because a bunch of yellow jackets say it's inconveniencing them. I'm staying right until the end, man. We need a, we're, we're going to get our, our, our powerful friend Judy to come and give us her words of wisdom. Because this woman is a very powerful lady and has very powerful words and I'm very honored to see her here today, man. So let's give it up for, for, for our sister Judy. Jimi Hendrix, distortion. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Yes. That's the warning. Hello, hello. That's the warning. Sorry, we're here. Wake up, everybody. Uh, oh, it's a bigger Can one. There's a guy here from who lives in the community and he's going to give us some words. Ani, Kathy and Digital from uh, Manitoulin Island. 
creator knows me as uh, Song Day Quay. I mean, strong-hearted woman. They say we couldn't do it, but we did it. <laughs> Damage 